Hi, and welcome to Living Is Easy. I'm John Petrozzi, and thanks for joining us today. Well, today I'm really excited to be speaking with uh, the woman of the internet. Her name is Lilu Mace. You may have heard of her or watched her, some of her, her YouTube videos. She's one of the most popular YouTube sites on the internet um, with over, I think it's over four, four and a half million views so far. And uh, Lilu hosts an interview style show on the internet where she speaks to a lot of inspirational authors, um, scientists, um, health related people and people in the spiritual fields. Hi Lilu and thanks for coming on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. No worries. This is fun. All the way to <laughs> Australia in Australia. I love it. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but you say Australia. You're a bit of the Oprah Winfrey of the internet, though, aren't you? Oh, that's a nice compliment. Thank you. <laughs> well, I do uh, I do interview people, and I, uh, I, I just love uh, spreading the joy. So I guess there are some common things there. Mm. Uh, but I, I am French with a French and American background. Yeah. So, um, and, and my space is the Internet. So I really think there are so many, you know, opportunities for sharing inspirational messages with the Internet right now. Lila, what is and it? people are so open. Yeah, they are. They are. And and like I know your site gets a lot of hits. How many hits has it had so far? Uh over over five million. Over five just million. On the, well, just over video wow. views. Wow. On the video views themselves. So it started on YouTube and then I started a web T V uh because I, I, I had just so much videos and so many interviews I had to categorize that, you know, as if it was related to relationships or to twenty twelve or to uh, the law of attraction or other things that people were interested about. Wow, it sounds like a full-time job. It is. Yeah. It is now. Uh, I actually, I was, uh, I, I, I used to have my own business. I'm 33, but I used to have my own business for eight years designing websites. Yeah. And uh, and then I had this, this position in London as director of marketing for a company, and then I lost my job there in 2009. Oh, right. And uh, I wrote a book called I Lost My Job and I Liked It <laughs> out of that experience just right after because I decided to apply all the universal laws and all the things that I had learned from all those wonderful teachers and see if it really worked. Wow. So it is really my diary for 30 days right after losing my job and uh, applying all the things and the practices and shifting my you know, mo moods to positive yeah. and to attract my dream job. And uh, and now it's a full time job. I it was it took me quite a lot of courage, you know, to just go for it and and you know saying you know what this is what I want to do with my life. I want to make a living at interviewing people. I, I this is this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's, it is what you are doing because you've started a um or you are starting in January a tour around the states called um, yeah. Lulu's Juicy Living Tour. That's correct, yeah. and. Uh, that's a 12 months right now plan across the U.S., but the idea is really to make it worldwide uh, because of, of the Internet. You know, it's going really all around the world. People are, are watching those interviews and videos everywhere, and so it's going to be subtitled. And for now, it's, it's, uh, it's us going around the U.S., um, and, and, you know, this is being created as we speak, but the idea is in a bus. And starting from Santa Fe and going all around, uh, interviewing spiritual authors and uh, inspirational people, really, that have this juice, you know, the spark for life. Mm. And then uh, capturing that on camera, broadcasting that every day on online and showing to everybody how, what an exciting, you know, uh, life, you know, what exciting what exciting things are happening right now in the world and how our own life can be magic if we practice all that. So, Lily, what's what is it that's driven you to um to this journey of you know discovering and and speaking to so many people and uh and just creating um you know a juicy life? What's driven you to it? Just to I just wanted to connect and grow and continue to make connections. And I was very I've always been very curious and reading books, you know, and and um, really just all of that happen and unfold. And I'm still you know surprised and it's at the same time, you know, I, I, I play big and see big, but I, I just, I really, I'm, I feel like I'm in a dream, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really unfolding and, um, um, yeah, so, um, 
we'll see how you know we'll see how how this is going from now on but it's really um, it's a big jump <laughs> yeah it is it is tell me a bit about the book that you've written um cuz you've had an experience at work where you I, I suppose you liked what you were doing but it just wasn't quite fulfilling yeah no i was i was i was stressed and uh, i was doing the videos you know on the side always after the other work okay um, so i was doing the work during the day and then doing this and I just didn't like the working environment, to be honest. And I, I was not, you know, I was not happy. And this was, I worked there for seven months. And um, and it was, it's it just uh, one day, you know, I received this call um, that I had lost my job. Mm. And I was made redundant. Yeah. So it was quite a humbling experience. Uh, I felt like a total loser. Uh, from the simple fact that, you know, just the fact that I was already putting out some videos about how to be positive, you know, and how to create the life of our dream. And there I was, you know, losing my job. So, but I decided to just really play it full out and to share this experience and uh, share it with others and see the positive and all of that. So from that point on, it it really opened and I, and I went into some dark moments where, yeah, my whole the old world collapsed. You know, the world where I was going after the money, the status, the car, and this and that, all the outside to try to make myself happy. And um, and I and I, you know, I realized that this could not continue anymore. This was way too much suffering. Mm. So I let go of that side of that world and uh, opened myself up and reopened my heart because that was truly what was missing there. Um, to be a hundred percent, you know, and rediscovering myself authentically and removing those limiting barriers that I had set for myself. So, Lily, you've interviewed so many interesting people now on your site, and especially after you know um, that sort of momentous occasion of losing your job and writing a book, you've interviewed <laughs> a lot of people that have you know spoken about different different topics like spirituality, health, science. Um, life in general, you know, how to do things better. Yeah. Who, who are some of the standout people that have really made an impression on you? People that have made a big impression? Yeah. Oh, my God. I really um, I really love John, Dr. John Demartini. Mm, he's great. Um, mm. That has the breakthrough experience. I know he goes quite often to Australia. He does, too. yeah. He, he's really, really brilliant. What a genius. So much information, this man. You can ask him any questions. He just pops it. <laughs> he knows it all. <laughs> It's brilliant, no, yeah. but brilliant and very humble, yet yeah. very present. It's just wow. Um, uh, another man that I love and I will be actually interviewing soon because he had a recent health problem, uh, a heart transplant. Uh, Don Miguel Ruiz, uh-huh. that wrote the four agreements and uh, that wrote the fifth agreement. He's just when you're in contact with him, you just feel so much the love. Wow. You're really present to love, and it's it's a beautiful, amazing you know, feeling, and it doesn't take long before feeling that. Um, I love doing those sessions right now. I'm doing a lot of sessions with Michael Lozier, that is uh, the best-selling author of The Law of Attraction. Okay. So we're we're doing a lot of series, and uh, he's coaching me, and I'm putting all of that online, how I'm actually attracting everything that I need for the tour by using The Law of Attraction deliberately. Tell us a bit so more about... So that's a lot of fun. That's That'd be awesome. Tell me... Because um, law of attraction's been used; it's a term that's used a lot by you know people that are writing books at the moment. Can you give us give us your spin on what you think the law of attraction is and what attracting actually means? Yeah, well, the the, the law of attraction is is a term that we've used for something that has been always existing. You know, it's really that uh, our outside world or what we're seeing outside is a mirror of our inside. So mm. whatever we're feeling and thinking and and putting our moods on, you know, and uh, resonating with this is what we're attracting this is what we're getting this is what we're living this is the problems we're getting or the awesome things so we are really responsible for our life mm. we're responsible for the great and the bad yeah. and once you start applying that deliberately and understanding more the mechanism and how you know it's important to shift your thinking and 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 really focus on what you want instead of what you don't want then you start to really attract awesome things in your life and it brings even more joy and gratitude and and it's a lot of fun how are you using it to organize your your um juicy living tour uh michael is is really uh 
teaching me and we're doing those coaching sessions and you can find them on, on my website, lilumase.com or, you know, I put it under success and law of attraction mm-hmm. tab. Um, it's called the deliberate attraction series. And so each session we're just going in and he's checking my vibration. He's checking where I'm at. You know, mm-hmm. he's, he's checking how positive I am or how, you know, uh, where are my doubts and things. And then we start looking at that. So let's say it's about sponsorship. Um, he's, he, he's saying, okay, what don't you like about sponsorship? So we, we look at what I don't, you know, like about currently what's happening around sponsorships. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, it's the crisis. They're non-existent. And, you know, um, it's hard to find them and they want to control you and this and that, like all those ideas that I had about sponsorship. And then that helps us to create a clarity list of really what I want out of that. So we take each of those items and we cross them and then we look at, okay, what do I want? Actually, I want, you know, sponsorship to contact me. I want them to be proud of participating in this tour and making a difference. Mm-hmm. I want them, you know, to be abundant, this and that. And then you shift right there. And then you hold that and you, 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 um, you put attention on it. And a big part of the process is, is allowing, you know, is, is really letting go while you're still focusing on it. So mm. we're just, we're using it as ways to attract, you know, the things that I want. And yet at the same time, you know, being open enough as to how is that need going to be fulfilled? Because sometimes we don't know, you know, sometimes we, we think we know, but that we put a barrier as to really what would be best for us. Yeah, sometimes exactly right. I watched one of your um, YouTube's uh, videos where you were going out and looking for the bus t- to use for your tour, and um, mm-hmm. I think you you really seemed to be flying by the city of your pants, really, because you had an idea that you had to go and speak to someone about a bus, and yeah. uh, and that place wasn't you know it didn't work out. But then you know right next door was another place, and you went and started a conversation with them and uh, did a a nice video really of of their bus company. Which yeah. got a really got a really great impression of who they are because I came away after watching that video. And I thought, well, wow, those guys are pretty good. If if I was in the states, I'd use their company. Um, mm-hmm. And really, you seem to be going along the journey with a, really an open mindedness about the whole thing, thinking, oh, well, if that doesn't work out, something else will pop up, and I know it will pop up because I I'm committed to this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I really focus on, I, I just know that everything is happening for the best, you know, whether it's something that can really seems like horrible, you know, like, a, I don't know, like for me at the time, like losing my job was really terrible. Mm. Um, I, I, you know, in the end, it turned out to be really, really, really for the best. Yeah. And now I'm living my dream. And there is all those things, you know, so even if something doesn't happen as I want, I know that ultimately it's going to be for the best. Yeah. And I know I know the, the Juicy Living Tour will be impacting people and I have to constantly and be the leader and you know, and be put my heart in it and my intention and focus. But at the same time I have to just be there and be an observer of all of that and participate and just know when there is an inspired action, when there is a synchronicity, you know, where there is really something that feels just right as the right piece then i move yeah so i do less but i try to move when it feels right with that feeling lilu tell us about what it feels like when when you're about to take the step into a particular decision because i know you're you're, you're pretty in touch yeah. with your feelings it feels you know. just right it uh-huh. feels just good yep it's it's like a click it's just whoa mm. it, there is it's like this quarter second where it's just that you know there is no second guessing it's that and if I have that really uh, feeling, I just go for it. And I move from country to country. I just go. I, I, I don't look back if I really feel, you know, that. It's an it, it's something you're, you're inspired, you mm-hmm. know. It's not you're not uh, euphoric either. It just it feels it feels right. There's mm-hmm. something, there's a certain vibration to it. And there is a certain perfectness about it that feels just like this is it or this is the right person or this is the right book I'm supposed to read or mm. I'm supposed to attend the seminar. So sometimes if we're, you know, in doubt, then that's not the moment to take that decision. Yeah. If you've just joined us, we're speaking to uh, the lovely lady, Lilu Mace, who's got a um, a very popular web TV uh, website. And, you know, she's her videos have been seen over 5 million times now. Um, so it's a very popular place to go to. Um, it's lilumace.com. And uh, she's got, or she's organized this year coming a, uh, a Juicy Living Tour around the States where she's going to be speaking to 
inspirational authors, philosophers, regular Joe Blow on the street, and uh, trying to work out what makes people tick. And then she puts those things up onto the onto the website where um, people can watch those and, and be inspired because sometimes people do feel alone. And it's nice to know that there are other people out there, um, you know, making something of their life and without all those, all those, uh, the fanfare behind them. Lila, I know that you tried to, um, to get a, a, a show on the Oprah Winfrey Network and uh, it didn't quite work out at that time. You know what? I watched some of your stuff and I, I think that having a, a network show like that would, st- would quite restrict you. Do you think that would happen? Yeah, I yeah. think I think you're right. Yeah. Um, I wasn't seeing that before. You see, the Oprah has been my inspiration since, uh, well, for a long time, but really in 2006 when I moved to Chicago. Mm. I met her shortly after moving here, and I saw her doing a show on, on her job, you know, on her life, on her dream job, which is what she's doing. Mm. And I was so blown away, and I just, my whole, you know, body just, oh, my God, this is it. This This is what I, I want to do. And I had no idea, you know, what it was exactly like, but that was my point of reference at that time. So I, I just, without having done any, you know, media school or anything, I just decided to post more and more of those videos. Being a, a shy person myself, you know, and just, just going, okay, let's, let me just do it. So then when I heard, you know, um, four years later, uh, after putting hundreds and hundreds of video out and starting to train myself that she was looking for a host uh, mm. on her Oprah Winfrey network, I immediately uh, jumped on the occasion and literally within a week I moved back to Chicago wow. because at that time I had returned back to France. So I found a place, I've shifted around because I had to be a resident to apply for this show. Yeah. And I just took that plane. I just knew it. There was so many synchronicities. You know, I'm like, this is it. I'm supposed to be part of this, you know, reality show and, and, and have that training and coaching. I would just love it. Just even marinate, you know, in this, in this atmosphere mm. it would be such an amazing experience, even though if I'm not the person at the end selected, you know, let's say, but at least get into this process yeah. was just very, yeah. so I just moved here. And, um, and that was in June. That was in, yeah, that was in June. And, um, and now we are in November. So I said, okay, if everything goes according to plan, I, I need to stay five months because then the show starts in California. Mm. So I just took a place for five months here, back here in Chicago, where I had lived two years before. And, um, you know, I went on the, to the audition. I put the video out. There was 20,000 people that applied for it. Then I went to Atlanta for an open audition. There was uh, so many people there again, but this didn't. Nothing happened out of it. No mm. phone call from a producer. Nothing. And I was just like, "What is going on? Why is this happening? Why isn't there nothing? It mm. can't be. There's too many signs." And there I met actually in Atlanta Sharon Reagan that used to, you know, work for a major corporation in sponsorship. And that found, you know, recognized me from YouTube and said, you know, I just really believe in you and I want to be there and I'm going to be your, you know, I'm going to be your champion. I'm going to be your, you know, I'm going to make it happen. I want to be there. And so from that point on, we that's when the Juicy Tour, you know, Ju- Juicy Living Tour started to launch. Fantastic. So we've been working on it since July and, and really it all happened and all the ideas for the tour start flowing in. Once I let go of the Oprah, you know, the big O and the whole idea, because frankly, and then I saw the network would have restricted me totally. Yeah, totally. Exactly right. Um, Because, yeah, that would sort of really dictate what you had to say, who who were the guests and and the whole rest of it. Yeah. Um, Right now it's in pure creation. You know, it's in pure potential. I can go right and left. and, And I really do hope, though, that some big networks will get involved, you know, and and I'm sure that there are some uh, production and networks that, you know, um, have that, will give that freedom, and then it will be a perfect match. Mm. Lulu, we're almost out of time, but can you tell us a bit about the um, that 100-day reality challenge that you had, have on the internet? What's that about? Yeah, that's how really the, all, the whole video started, because with uh, two other friends in 2005, we were doing a lot of seminars and uh, we noticed that we apply things when we go on seminars, you know, for a week after the seminar and then it, we go back to our regular life. Mm. So we thought of creating the 100 day challenge for 100 days. People 
apply the universal law or the the law of attraction or set goals, you know, and share that on blog or video blog. And then you share your entire journey. So that's how I started posting online okay. and on YouTube. And now there's about over, well, nearly 6,500 uh, members from over 120 countries participating. Wow. In this website. It's an awesome, it's cocreatingourreality.com. Okay. You can just search the 100 day challenge on the 100 day reality challenge because there's 200 day challenge okay. on YouTube or on, uh, on Google and you just find it. And, uh, it's a very positive, inspiring, free, open community. Beauty. Lulu, what do you think, um, is going to happen over the next year, um, on your bus tour? I think I'm going to come to Australia. Oh, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think, you know, Australia is definitely one of the countries I want to, you know, I want to expand this word well. So through Europe, through, Asia through Australia, um, everywhere. Yeah, fantastic. And so what... I reckon in a year I'll still be on the tour here, but uh, shortly after that, you know, Australia is one of the top places. Uh, I love, I love, I love this country. <laughs> There's plenty of buses here. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, what kind of legacy do you reckon you're going to leave behind um, when you're gone? Oh my God! I've never been that like that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I really have never thought of it that way. Mm. Of uh, when I leave, okay. Well, I hope some inspiration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you're leaving, you're definitely. And some videos, uh, millions of videos by that time on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you will do. No, they'll be archived. <laughs> So uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. But I'm really, I'm trying to be more in the present moment, you know, and just living it fully. Yeah. And I think uh, the more we're in the present moment, living our full potential, getting in the zone of, you know, in the flow, in the zone of uh, genius, as Gay Henriks uh, talks about. Actually, right now I'm reading The Big Leap. It's Mm. all about that. And it's awesome, awesome book. And uh, the more then we leave awesome stuff behind us and people are inspired. But the moment is now, you know. It's mm. now to do that. Mm. Fantastic. Lily, that's all we have time for. Thanks a lot for coming on the show today. Well, you are awesome. <laughs> you are a fantastic interviewer and a great host. I just love your question and the flow of all this. Thanks very much, Lilu. All the best. All the best with the tour. I know it's going to go very well, and I know a lot of people listening to the show today um, across Australia are going to uh, probably jump on your on your site and and look at um, the places you go and visit and people you speak to. Awesome, yeah. awesome. And the different places we'll be visiting will be online on the juicylivingtour dot com, but uh, only probably in two weeks the site will be up. All right, cool. And maybe we can sort of talk again in uh, in the months to come and and see how it's I all going for I would love that. You. Yeah, it'd be great. Thank you. Thanks, Lulu. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. And that was uh, Lilu Mace. Um, have a look at her tour. It's just type in Juicy Living Tour on the internet um, or that 100-day reality challenge or just type in Lilu Mace and take a look at some of her YouTube videos because there's some pretty amazing people she's spoken to and um, lots to learn for us all. And thanks for joining us today. If you'd like to listen to this as a podcast, just go to our website, which is livingiseasy.com.au and it'll be up there shortly. All right, well, thanks for joining us, and I look forward to speaking to you all again next time. I'm John Petrozzi. Until next time, stay well and stay happy.